don't see a TV for me to plug the GameCube into though. Oh no, well, there's a TV. Hmm. I'm gonna be going into this room soon. Better get the ones in the O corridor first. Clear those zombies out, then I can finally dump. Oh. No zombies? Did I kill them already around the corner? Hmm. Well, only one zombie left then. Take him out, then go upstairs with a slide filter. Mm, I, I can see he's got a watch on. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. His skin's getting unusually red. I think he's turning into a crimson head very quickly. Know for sure in um, very hard mode, it can take only five minutes. Eight four six two. We know the code now. Where do I even put it? as well let this play for people.
find that blub key. No, no. I thought that was another GameCube. Looks like it's just a Sega Genesis instead. Zero says, um, they don't mention that tyrants being clones, do they? Um, don't think all of them are clones. I mean, otherwise they would have made far more than ten clones of, um, Vladimir. Maybe at <coughs> this point a lot of these are just still research subjects and they're just abducting people instead. I'll get rid of that. But the turret processing facility used clones now. If you think of the one on Sheena Island, I. The survivor guidebook doesn't mention it. It doesn't mention that the clones. I think it, it probably just turns out that um, Noboru Sugimura hadn't come up with them being clones. Maybe that was a later invention. It would explain why he hasn't mentioned them so blatantly. That's what I was looking for. I'll get that first aid spray later. Zero says, um, did Sugimura come up with the clone thing? Or was that established by Resident Evil 4? I first mention of a clone, I recall, is Umbrella Chronicles in 2007, which of course after his death. Maybe Sugimura didn't like the idea of clones, he might have just preferred that people were abducted. Maybe, maybe it could make it feel more uneasy. Since if you just saw, oh, it's a clone of someone, you'll just not care. Zero says, so the whole clone thing was a retcon. Um, I wouldn't say it's a retcon. I'd say it's um. A section of plot that just hadn't been mentioned before, so you think differently. It could be that the T002 in this game isn't actually a clone, and that it really is just someone who was abducted. I hate these guys. They're the only enemy that dissolves in this game, like, Res like in Resident Evil 4. See? Dissolves. I think you were going up against Tornado. Tiny wings. Various precision instruments used in surgery. Anything else in here? It's rusted shutter. What would you? 
How could it rust in only two months? Our operating, ta operating table is covered in blood. Blood doesn't look like it came from surgery though. Probably because the Chimera are able to slice people open with their sharp arms. body bag lies on a simple bed. The date indicated on the bag is quite old. Old for a corpse or just old in general? Okay, it's a body bag in a morgue. We haven't even preserved them, so we're probably just intending on burying them rather than just preserving those bags as test subjects. These are probably employees. Another GameCube. <laughs> Something. Oh, hold on. Somebody on the Resident Evil Wiki's chat is asking how to defeat um, the Henerador enemies, those big ones in Resident Evil. That's everything. Is that everything in this room? Yes. Okay, Zero's coming up with an alternative pronunciation, but um, since he actually speaks Spanish, I'm gonna just, just take, I'm gonna take that for granted. <laughs> Though um, I'm pretty sure the Japanese guide does have the say he instead of ge, so either that's an error, or they're only establishing it for some minority Spanish dialect. to go back later on then. Every time I see that shadow, I keep thinking there's a crimson head running after me. <laughs> <laughs> 